Have you been saving money thinking you're making the right choice for your future? Well, I hate to tell you, but you're wrong. You're actually ruining your future, but it's probably not your fault. This is because we're taught from a young age that saving is the responsible thing to do. A penny saved is a penny earned, as they say. What you may not know, however, is that saving money is costing you a fortune. This might sound like an exaggeration, but I can assure you it's not. You're probably wondering, how am I losing money by saving it? Several factors cause you to lose money when you're just piling cash in your savings account. In this video, we'll cover why you shouldn't save money and what to do instead. Welcome to Blue Chip Mindset, the winning mindset for success. If you enjoy the video or learn something new, please give it a like. Think of your savings like a bucket with a few holes in the bottom and your money like water. The more money you pour into your bucket, the more it fills up. But the holes in the bucket slowly drain your money away month after month, year after year. By hoarding cash, your money will slowly become less valuable as time goes by due to inflation. This means that your money's purchasing power will decrease each year. Now, let's make some calculations. If you had $10,000 in your savings account, added $250 every month, and earned 0.5% interest per year, which is more than the average right now, you'd have roughly $108,000 after 30 years. Sounds pretty good, right? Well, actually, no. It's terrible. Assuming an inflation rate of 2% per year, which is a healthy inflation rate for an economy under normal circumstances, the purchasing power of your $108,000 in 30 years will be the same as the purchasing power of about $60,000 today. That's why it's terrible to save. This is not just some theoretical exercise. It has already happened. Have you heard your grandparents or parents say how a dollar could buy them much more when they were younger? They weren't lying. When you leave your money in the bank, inflation will slowly eat away at it until you barely have any money left. But why does this happen and why can't we just stop it? Well, there are several causes. The first is called demand pull inflation. It happens when demand for certain items outstrips the available supply, causing prices to rise. The second is cost push inflation, which increases prices when production costs rise. Both of these are out of our control and will cause prices to gradually increase over time, leaving us with less buying power than we started with. A frequently discussed third cause of inflation is an increased money supply. This occurs when the government prints more money than there are goods available for people to purchase. In other words, there's too much cash and not enough stuff to buy with it. This is why it's crucial to invest and let your money work smarter for you, instead of just letting it sit there, earning next to nothing in interest from a bank. Another reason money loses value when left in a savings account or under your mattress is an economic concept known as opportunity cost. This concept in economics refers to the values or benefits that are forfeited when one chooses one option over another. Investing your money wisely can transform potential losses into profits, beating inflation and enhancing your income potential. By not investing, you could miss out on the opportunity to accumulate thousands or even millions of dollars in the long run. For example, if you invested $100 in the S&P 500 at the beginning of 1990, you would have about $2,600 at the end of 2023, assuming you reinvested all dividends. This is a return on investment of 2,500% or 10% per year. In contrast, this significantly outperforms the typical savings account, which might earn less than half of 1% interest annually. So, what should you do to not lose your money? I'll share that secret with you, but first, if you're enjoying the video so far, then please show it some love by tapping that like button and subscribing to the channel. I'd love to have you aboard. You should be saving, but not in a regular savings account. The only money you should keep in your savings account is an emergency fund, which should be enough to cover three to six months' worth of expenses. This fund is reserved for true emergencies, not to fund your OnlyFans addiction or to buy a PlayStation 5. Everything else should be in other investments, such as stocks, bonds, or real estate. With some investments, you can earn 4-6% in income. 
This is known as a high yield investment. And once you have built up a large enough portfolio balance, this will be sufficient to live off of. Savings account interest rates are incredibly low in comparison, and the amount of money earned from that income stream would not be practical to try and live off of. It's just too small. Alternatively, consider investing in the S&P 500, as previously mentioned. Comprising the 500 largest companies in the United States, this index has exhibited impressive performance over recent decades, delivering an average annual return of approximately 10%. To invest in this index, you can purchase ETFs, or exchange-traded funds, which provide broad exposure to all these companies, mitigating the risks associated with individual stock selection. By adopting this approach, you can capitalize on the performance of these prominent firms without the need for active portfolio management. You can use the magic of compounding to grow the value of your investments. This is when you reinvest the interest and dividends earned from your investments, which will help grow your portfolio's value, thus making you wealthier in the long term. As Albert Einstein once said, compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. He who understands it, earns it. He who doesn't, pays it. The magic of compounding significantly amplifies your investment if you're willing to wait 10 to 20 years for results you could end up with double or more than what you initially invested. Always remember to diversify your investment portfolio for safety. This way, if one of your investments goes down, the others will help minimize your losses. If you've never invested before and want to start buying stocks or ETFs that track the S&P 500 but don't know where to do so, check out the Weeble link in the description of this video or in the top comment pinned. It's the app I use to buy and sell stocks and ETFs. So if you click the link below, you'll get up to 12 free fractional stocks through my special link, as long as you deposit at least one penny into your account. And if stocks aren't your thing, you can always invest in real estate. In this case, you could be earning income from rent or appreciation of the property value. In fact, as Andrew Carnegie, once the wealthiest man in the world, once said, some of the most successful entrepreneurs have built their wealth through real estate, which is probably why 90% of millionaires in the United States own it. Investing is not only the best way to have your money work for you, but also how you beat inflation and grow your wealth long term. While risks are involved with investing, with proper research, you should be able to manage those risks and benefit from higher returns than any savings account can offer. Remember, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So, like most other things in life, no risk, no reward. So keep these tips in mind. I hope you enjoyed the video or learned something new. If so, please like, subscribe, and turn on all notifications. Until next time.